in this session we are going to discuss nested loop nested loop means one loop is taking place within the another loop so nested loop in case of nested loop so such nesting is allowed that means there is one loop which has been nested within another it can be nested within another and so on so it is allowed but intersecting nested loops are not allowed in any language so that is one loop and this loop is intersecting in this way so it is not allowed but it is allowed so let us go for one practical demonstration where we shall show you that how this nested loops are going to take place and which instruction is under which loop and that will decide that how many times that very statement or instruction is going to get executed so here is the practical demonstration for you in this session we are going to discuss nested looping that means one loop has got nested or embedded within within the another loop and that is called the nested looping we shall discuss this one with one example through a c program let us suppose one day i am not feeling well so i went to doctor for checkup look at this line i have marked this one so i went to doctor for a checkup doctor after checking me gave medicine for 5 days so that's why i have written one for loop that is day is equal to 1 day less than equal to 5 and day plus plus so d is equal to 1 d less than equal to 5 and d plus plus here d stands for a day so for each and every day for the next 5 days in the morning i'm saying good day to my family members and for each and every day doctor told me to consume to take three pieces of a certain medicine or tablets okay so medicine is equal to 1 medicine less than equal to 3 and medicine plus plus so here m stands for medicine so for m is equal to 1 m less than equal to 3 and m plus plus that means i'm supposed to take three medicines per day so here i'm printing the day number and the medicine number accordingly and i want to keep count that how many medicines i have taken i have consumed throughout this five days of time so that's why i have made count plus plus obviously before entering this for loop i have made count is equal to 0 at the end of each and every day i used to say good night to my family members so just see for a single day i used to say good good day to my family members then i consume three tablets then at the night i used to say good night to my family members so in this way five days i have spent after that i went to doctor i went to doctor to report him that i am well and also to give him thanks so now in this way this is a loop which is working on the day within which there is another loop which is working on the medicine number so d loop is working on the day number and medicine loop is working on the medicine number so in this way we are getting one example of nested looping i want to check that how many medicines i have consumed throughout this 5 days we know that three medicines each day in 5 days we are going to i am going to consume 15 such tablets so now after exiting from the loops i want to print the updated value of d and as well as m i can predict that d is ranging from 1 to 5 and d is getting increased by 1 always so after exiting this d loop i think that d must be having the value 6 similarly for m also i can predict m was ranging from 1 to 3 so that means after exiting this for loop this value of m should be 4 so let me do the cross check after execution of this code so i'm going for the execution now compile and run so this is my output i want to bring the full output on the output window so this is my program and this is my output so they are existing side by side now see i went to doctor for checkup it is outside of all the for loops so that's why it got executed once only this good day this printing is within the for loop which is on day which is ranging from 1 to 5 but within this for loop that is within the outer for loop but outer of the inner for loop so that means this line is going to get executed for five times only first time second time third fourth and fifth time it has got executed 
Similarly for good night, it is inside of the outer for loop and outside of the inner for loop. So outside of the inner for loop. So that's why this good night should get executed for five number of times. You can find first time, second time, third, fourth and fifth time good night has got printed. Now this line is within the outer for loop and also within the inner for loop. Outer for loop is executing for five times. Inner for loop is executing for three times. So this line and also this line should be executed for 15 number of times. So 3 plus 3, 6 plus 3, 9 plus 3 times. So 12 plus 3 times. So 15 times this uh, day number printing and medicine number printing. This printf instruction has been executed. Before entering into this loop, count was 0. So here count got incremented for 15 number of times. So after exiting from the for loop, if I to print the medicine count, I am getting here 15 for the medicine count. And day was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After exiting from the loop, the day number should be 6. And here the medicine was 1, 2, 3. So after exiting from this loop, the medicine number will be 4. So in this way, I am getting clear idea regarding the output of the nested for loop. So this line was outside of inner both as inner and outer for loops. So got executed once. This line also got executed once because it is outside of the inner and outer for loops. This line was within the outer for loop but outside of the inner for loop. So got executed five times. Good night got executed five times. And this day number and medicine number printing got executed for 15 number of times. So you are getting the idea what is the correspondence between this output and as well as the program code. Now, let us suppose that the, doc, that the doctor told me to take one tablet on day one, two tablets on day two, three tablets on day three, four tablets on day four and five tablets on day five. In that case, how many tablets I'm going to take? That is D number of. In that case, I am supposed to take D number of tablets. So D, if it is 1, then 1 tablet. If it is 2, then M will be ranging from 1 to 2. That means 2 tablets. In this way, the thing will take the shape. So now let me go for execution once. This is output and this is the input. So this is my output and this is the input. Input means my coding. Now see, in the day 1, I took 1 medicine. On day 2, I took 2 tablets, 3 tablets, 4 tablets and 5 tablets. So how many how many number of tablets in total? So 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4, 10 plus 5, 15 number of tablets. So that's why the medicine count has become 15 and day number outside of the loop has become 6 and medicine number outside of the loop has become 6. So in this way, I think from this example, we are getting a crystal clear idea regarding the nested looping. Always remember, Nesting of loops are allowed, but intersecting loops are not allowed as we have demonstrated in our presentation. Thanks for watching this video.